So, uh, there's... Uh, how do I put this? A bit of a problem with PvP. This... is... ridiculous. Hello, my fellow Tarnished! Welcome! Today I'm here to do two things. Share with you a combination of items that results in an absolutely ludicrous, nigh-unstoppable PvP build for complete and utter total domination without any effort or thought. Basically, this is how to win every single invasion without having to, how do you say, get good. But, the second thing I'm here to do today is to spread awareness of this, because it is not intended. There is no doubt in my mind this interaction is not intended. It is a bug, it is broken, it needs fixing, and it needs fixing fast, and there is not a shred of a reservation in my mind that this will get addressed in an upcoming patch, because quite frankly, it is ruining PvP. I initially was loath to even make this because, well, I don't want people doing it, but having spent all yesterday and the day before having a load of fun uh, invading and having duels, I have been faced with and killed by this about 27 times. We have another friend. Um, he's on fire. He's on fire. He's on oh fire. Oh, he's running. doing the build! He's doing the build! Run, he's run, doing run, the one-shot death he's build! Copied he's copied you split. already. Wait, is actually doing it? No! Is it actually? Oh! Yeah. oh my god, he's actually doing range it! Range him! Range him while I run! Range I don't him. have any range! Range him! Swordsman. Please, for the love of god, range him while I run! <laughs> <laughs> running out of the opposite way! Get out of your turn. turn! A few moments later... Which A, sucks, but B, makes me sad, because I naively thought I was one of the first people to figure this out, but as it turns out, no, other people have as well. It was just a unhappy accident as part of me testing a bug that I found and released a video on yesterday. And I'll also be sharing and including a few tips and tricks in how to hard counter this build should it come up against you in an invasion, in a duel, so on and so forth, so you don't feel as helpless as this can make you feel. So, from soft, I hope you're watching. Please fix this. Signed, everyone. So this is an interaction between uh, the incantation Fire's Deadly Sin and the legendary armament Eclipse Shotel. Now, let's first focus on the Eclipse Shotel. What it's supposed to be is just quite a nice, fancy dex weapon, with a little bit of faith included. And I realize it won't do much good, but out of principle, I'm not going to share with you how to get either the incantation or the weapon, because I want to limit this as much as possible. And while obviously if you really want to ruin both your game and other people's, you can look it up, don't be that guy. You set the blade ablaze in this consuming dark flame, and then every hit builds up Death Blight. Death Blight only works on Tarnish, so this will only affect, well, AI invaders or indeed PvP, so you can't just walk through the game doing this, thank god, but basically it just makes it so your swings build up Death Blight and then you can fill a Death Blight your opponent, which is a really cool thing to have in PvP as an option to build around. This is completely fair and balanced, takes a lot of hits, you gotta land those hits, that's it's all good. This works fine. But when you combine it then with the incantation I mentioned earlier, Fire's Deadly Sin, a little bit of, uh, well, tomfoolery occurs. For whatever reason, when you have this fire on you, this self-inflicted flame dot that is supposed to just pulse damage to people around you, that damage that is pulsed takes on the properties of weapon buffs. This is an unintended interaction, or at least it feels like it, or at least it really should be, because the speed at which it applies Blight is ludicrous. Like, seriously, look, the time between it going on... ...and the kill is, like, a half a second, maybe? A second at absolute most? It is silly. Now, of course, you can build for Blight resistance, for Death Blight resistance, and we'll get to that towards the end of this, but yeah. Essentially, then, Fire's Deadly Sin just causes you to pulse with weapon buffs. Even if you ignore the fact that there is a Death Blight weapon buff is... 
Well, I mean, again, broken. Literally broken and overpoweredly broken. This is what happens if you use Fire's Deadly Sin with the Moonlight Greatsword, the Dark Moon Greatsword. Normally, you buff the weapon, it deals frost damage and extra damage. It's not an aura of damage, but with Fire's Deadly Sin and you walk near enemies, you just slowly pulse frost damage. This might actually arguably be worse, because while less effective in PvP than just insta-killing people with death blight, this means in PvE, you can do this combination and just run in circles around enemies until they die from frostbite. Now obviously, imagine the world in which you have a bleed weapon buff on, and you're constantly triggering bleed procs. Unlike this frost from Dark Moon, that would actually just annihilate things near instantly. I, for one, will not be ruining my experience of this wonderful game by abusing this, because why would I? It would take away all the fun, and I really would please don't do that yourself too. Don't fall back on this. This is so sincerely just a call for this to be stamped out, removed, and fixed, because it needs to be if any kind of healthy game state, especially for PvP, is going to be achieved, and that's something we all want because PvP is so much fun. And again, I'm so back and forth on this video even existing, but ultimately the only way this is going to get fixed, if is enough people know about this, can make an outcry and hopefully get it heard and changed by FromSoft. So, I feel like I have to, I really do. Fire's Deadly Sin has all other sorts of weird effects too. It permanently triggers the counter of the Erdtree Great Shield. Normally, if you time the Ashes of War with a spell, it fires out a blast of retaliatory Holy magic, but with uh, Fire's Deadly Sin on, you can just spam it. This one isn't too overpowered, it's very counterable in PvP, and a lot of bosses aren't really destroyed by it, really. It's just kind of good for clearing levels, and it's quite fun. But it's obviously, again, still not intended. I made a video on this one a couple days ago as a neat little build guide. If only I'd known then how deep this rabbit hole goes. Essentially, then, that's kind of it. That's what I want to put across today. There is a huge issue in the game with the interaction between auras and weapon buffs. Because I don't just think it's Fire's Deadly Sin. That's simply an easy way to get a permanent damage aura around your character. But I think there is just an inherent broken aspect of the game where weapon buffs and auras simply interact in an unintended and game-breaking manner. For example, the video I made yesterday that I kind of referenced as a bug that I found and wanted to warn you guys of because it can accidentally kill an aggro-friendly NPC whose storylines you're doing is similar. If you're wearing a certain armor piece that I don't really want to name because I don't want it to happen, these two in this video, everybody knows about it by now, so the cat's already out the bag, as it were. But if you wear this certain armor piece and then you buff up with a weapon buff, again, like that in Greatsword, because this chest piece slowly heals allies as an aura, with a weapon buff, it slowly kills your own allies in an aura, which doesn't do anything for you, so there's no point doing it, but the fact that it happens, it both kills Torrent, it kills NPCs, it's just a recipe for disaster. And I would honestly say, on the surface, the single biggest issue facing Elden Ring right now, the absolute masterpiece that it is, is this weird aura weapon buff interaction being so broken? Because it is leading to a bunch of stuff that just simply shouldn't be possible and is completely ruining a huge part of the game and certainly a massive amount of the normally incredibly fun PvP interactions that the Souls community loves to indulge in. So, yeah, I really do feel kind of compelled, duty-bound to make this video. I want to spread the awareness, and I really hope it gets fixed soon. There is incantations you can use that reduce death blight. There is talismans you can acquire that make you more resistant to it. But honestly, the main thing to do if you see someone using this build, and I would genuinely heartfeltly ask anyone watching this, please don't contribute to this mess by doing it. It's not fun, it's not clever, it's not cool to show up in someone's world, roll around them in a circle, and blow them up with death blight. It just, it sucks for everyone that isn't you, and even you are gonna find it sucky when there is literally no fun or challenge to be had. There is no reason for doing this, and it just, it's just kinda sad 
if you do. I get the appeal of the novelty of maybe wanting to do it a couple times and being like, holy shit, this works. But don't ruin people's PvP with this. Please, please don't do it. And I would hardly recommend then if you see someone doing it, the best way is either A, get to them before they finish casting the flame and the weapon buff if you can, or B, simply run away and don't stop running until the flames go out, then turn on them and be incredibly aggressive. You basically need to keep at range, kite them, and hit them with ranged attacks because outside of this combination, the build is quite weak, or C, Simply refuse to interact with these people. Don't run away in panic. Don't try and win. Don't try and fight back. Just don't give them the satisfaction. You're all aware of what this is now and what causes it. So basically, I, I know this sucks to say, but just stand there and let it happen. People are going to stop doing this if there is no joy in people's reaction to this being done to them. Or at least a huge amount of people will. And that is essentially it then. I would say normally I hope you've enjoyed this, but at the very least I hope it's been helpful. And if it has, please like if you, well, agree it's been helpful. Subscribe for more. Spread the message of this. Report it to FromSoft as I have. And yeah, please consider supporting the future of this channel tomorrow. And indeed, back to very much normal running with the next video. I'll see you soon. A good one. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.